This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Squarespace. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com forward slash rogue. That's R-O-G-U-E. Spell it right, you savages. Yeah. And get 10% off. So are there any great quarterstaff heroes outside of Donatello, right? Everyone's going to say Donatello. You had uh, Sheila from the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. Mm -hmm. Little John. She, she, Little John. Wait, the rapper? Ro Robin Hood, yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the rapper. He's well known for his quarterstaff skills. <laughs> What? <laughs> crunk, crunk, crunk. <laughs> Spins it around, does the Darth Maul thing. Okay! <laughs> Learning how to fight with quarter stuffs. All right, we're back with the Austin Historical Weapons Guild with Anthony and Bryant. You guys have a big stick. Yes. So I'm thinking that this is going to be the safest. Austin Historical Weapons no Guild way. episode. No this there's is no. no, there's nothing pointy. This is far more dangerous than anything else we've done so far. See? How? Unlike, unlike the fetters and the swords, like those are all simulated tools to represent the weapons. This is the actual weapon. Is the actual weapon. Yeah. This is the thing you break bones and crush skulls and all those other terrible, exciting things with. These and hands. are the actual weapons. <laughs> <laughs> what is the appeal to it in a world where people are walking around with swords and uh, knives uh, in sigh and, and nunchucks? What's Flails, so great about a stick? BFGs. Um, it's it's really easy to carry around. It's cheap. It's really valuable. Great training weapon. And you get really good at this. Put a little metal thing on the end of it. All of a sudden you have a spear. It's unassuming. You see someone with a walking stick, you don't think twice about it. You see someone with a big sword, right. like, oh, he's going to cause them. Not me. I see someone with a walking stick. I'm like, that is a shaman who's going <laughs> to cast a spell. So can you tell us a little bit about the history of the staff and why it was adopted as a weapon? Or is that just a no-brainer? It's like, let's grab this big stick and hit people yeah, with it? Yeah, basically, let's put big stick, hit people with it. Um, so we're looking at Meyer, which is the same one we looked at some of the dagger stuff last time as well. Just ease of access, ease of use, and again, really convenient, handy drawings. OK, so you're going to love this. You have a demonstration for us uh, to show us how dangerous the, yes. the stick yes. is. So last time we had our three open fencing masks, which is plenty good for all the steel weapons and other stuff we've been using. Sure, protect so, your eyes and your face. Yeah. So I'm gonna kind of demonstrate like how this weapon, when used even moderately powerfully, just kind of destroys that. I th okay. I, think I already want to just back away. I just want yeah. to be over let's, here. Let's do that. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I think this is the part that's gonna be fine. I think it's the next part that's going to scare us. You go to the hardware store and say, I need a watermelon skewering device. You go to the vampire section. The vampire yeah. section. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I usually shop in the section where you find something to display the heads of your enemies. Yeah, okay. just, just a couple good swings like we did before. Nothing, nothing right. too crazy. Ryan, what is best in life? Uh, to slay your enemies and to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. You've already messed it up. Uh, you, <laughs> is you that already, on the line? Just, you ruined it. Here we go. <laughs> You, little biscuit. I remember you, sir. Good. Okay. Oh, see? That was terrible. It wasn't a push cut at all. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I, I didn't, I was. All of my lessons were gone. <laughs> Less excuses, more killing. God, I don't even remember any of that. I should have studied. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. I was focusing on my form. No, that was <laughs> great, though. Like, it hit hard, it bounced off. It's fine. Yeah. The melon is fine. Yeah, nothing. Which? Nothing, no damage, everything looks great. Is, is your point that I'm weak? Yes. <laughs> so I guess in a best case scenario, that would cut or slice the face, but clearly right. like with, he'll with, still be alive afterwards. I mean, well, with the fetter and the mask, the mask did its job. Sure, sure. sure. Do you so. want to try it, Brian? Uh, you yeah. should. Yeah, all right, go for it. Watch. I don't think I'll do any better. Brian, who's been working out, right. it's going to just <laughs> obliterate it. I hope yeah. not. Ready? I feast the whole demonstration. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Boy, it really does. It just reflects right off yeah. that. Well, <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, Who's the backhand? It's not fair. It's all right. <laughs> I'm not glad that happened to you. <laughs> I'm just glad that I didn't look like the biggest jackass. Okay, good. That's all. So, so with the sword and the mask, obviously nothing bad happened. Sure. How much does that quarterstaff weigh? Two pounds. Wow. Do you have okay. a cake? It's a solid connection. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, is oh. he dead? Yeah. He's uh, he's in bad shape. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's split it's straight split through. It's split him open. So, yeah. 
Yeah, dude, that force is intense. What happens if, if, if you don't even have the mask on? <laughs> I mean, just for science. Just for science. So, Gallagher. Wow! You can hear that sickening thwack. And it didn't even seem like you put your back into that. No. Not at all. I guess that's the appeal of the quarter staff is that it's all leverage, right? Yeah. It starts absolutely. swinging super hard and fast at the tip. But it's it's definitely split again. Yep. Man. Oh, and the base of the yeah. thing is all. Oh my wrecked. god, you broke you broke <laughs> the stand. Yeah. That is phenomenal. So don't get hit by the stick. Yeah. That's uh, point taken. Wow. <laughs> so it's all about momentum. It's all about that uh, that yeah. mass. It's, it's just that leverage. It's just that six foot length moving okay, through I that am, space. Okay, I'm suitably chastised in my dismissal <laughs> yeah. of the quarterstaff. Let's learn some moves. All right, let's do it. Are you ready for these now? Oh yeah, no, yeah. Oh no, yeah, this is great. Oh my um, god. I assume these are these are for us to just generally, yeah. you know, show support it's, and or anger. It's while they're looking cool, you and I are just yeah. That's perfect. You guys are done. That's the episode. Right here. The first thing we talk about is the actual proper height. So everyone should have different slightly heights ones. You actually go like this with your hand over your head, and that's right about the height you want for your staff. So they're a touch long for you guys, mm, a, little yeah. bit, a little bit more for you. But <laughs> I like your style. Yeah. It's a basic starting point, so that's kind of a go from there. Okay. Right hand is actually staying at the back side this time. All the way at the back. Got it. All the way at the really? back. Really? Yes. Exactly opposite from when we did everything else, right? Yeah. So I think of it more as like a rapier, except it's too long to hold out like this. Right. So we're gonna hold it back and use it this way. We're not gonna do any switching, we're not gonna do any twirling, none of that. Oh, but no. that's what I practiced I so know. hard what for you came years. Out for. Yeah. yeah. We're in this position and what can what can we accomplish right. like this? Primary attack for this, despite what the watermelon showed us, is just thrusting out and stabbing. Oh, something. a jab. Yeah. So stabbing, just uh, yeah. bashing the face just, in. Just bash like that, and it's not a throw. It's just a simple step and push. You keep you keep both hands on both there. Both hands on it, keep that control, keep the structure, keep the If power. you're throwing, again, that throws your balance off, and... And also, I mean, you, you run the you risk no of control. overextending. Yeah. Just yeah. like with the and now it's gone, now it's way out here, and I gotta pull it back. That's and, useless. Yeah. yeah. There are some things we'll get to that you do throw with one hand later, but from this position for this kind of thrusting motion, mm -hmm. it's just symbol up and out. This is your middle guard, your kind of standard guard. This is kind of what they talk about as being your return to position. Okay. okay. Right, so this is out here, keep it safe, keep it long, keep it distant. Keeping our left leg forward, we're gonna bring it up here to high guard. Got it. Nice and high, nice and tall. So before we always talked about having whatever side the sword's on, the weapon's on, that leg is back. If I do that with a quarter staff, if I'm back here and I throw this step, you saw how that pulled me way through and I'm way off balance. Sure, sure. So by having my feet and shoulders reversed, I can throw a powerful cut and stay centered. Oh, because it's so much longer, you have to so completely adjust yes. your center of balance. Yes. Working these opening guards, they're going to be left foot forward. So when I cut from the left side, I'm going to snap through the center and you feel that torsion keep you in place. Versus if you try it this way and step through the cut like that, mm -hmm. you'll feel it throw you, pull you through all the it's way. It's going to overdo it. It's too much yeah. momentum. As far as uh, things to learn, uh, first of all, default position, yep. uh, forward and stab, and then high guard, you're up here still with the left foot forward. Yes. What, what is this one called? Just mid guard? Middle guard. M oh, not mid guard. <laughs> <laughs> Middle guard. Uh, That's mid earth. Oh, yeah. It's different. <laughs> so same thing. We're going to take that step, push through, and drop it down. So. Yep. Whoa. Yeah. That and bring the, bring the butt over to your right hip. Okay, we're maybe swinging or stepping out too much because we're both crouching and I don't see oh. them. Yeah, I mean, so knees, knees are bent. We are not overextending forward. And okay. that's Got a it. lot of that is that weight of that staff pulling you through. And yeah. this is meant to be adapting. Uh, so you're, you're guarded and then this is a strike. You're, you're cracking them across yeah. the forehead, yep. right? We're bringing the cut straight across here. Okay. And then from this position, we're going to switch our feet, drop the staff. So this is our low guard. So it can be straight off to the left, right side, you can bring it across the left. Again, with this one, you want the left leg forward for that same kind of striking motion moving up through there. So left leg is forward for everything. The only time we've done right leg is on this strike. Right, on those attacks. When and you make then, those motions, then if we step forward, move through it. And again, just like with longsword, 
These aren't like, I'm not going to walk up to a fight like this. I want to move through these positions kind of fluidly, kind of rapidly, so I don't know exactly what's happening right. what's and what's the, coming out of this. What's the attack from low again? There's a couple options. I mean, one, you can just thrust straight up back okay. to that middle position we were just in. So you can do that statically. You can do that with a step. Okay. You know, kind of. Boy, that feels so awkward to step forward with the right foot and thrust at the same really? time. I don't know why. Push your right <sighs> hand into your left armpit. Oh. Okay, that does make a difference, yeah. And that has a nice uh, benefit, which we'll see later, of covering a line and keeping yourself safe. So I can make this attack here, come underneath it, and okay. now this side is protected. Wait, you went from low to, to, to mid? To, that, to mid? mid, yeah. Okay. Kind of thrusting motion. And obviously any of those other snapping motions you can think of, snap up to control that center line. These are pretty, pretty simplistic motions. There's not a lot of finesse, fine tuning to the positions. When we were doing swords, it was all about getting in that bind and the chess game of negotiation out from there. Are you actually binding when it's quarter staff to quarter staff or is, or is it all about positioning to, to try to be able to get it? Is, it is still binding and controlling. The same, same rules applies if I'm just swinging at someone and if I'm close enough to hit you, you're gonna hit me at the same time. So right. I wanna make sure I control that center line, which is why that first cut from high guard here Brings me to this middle position. Got it. Now we're gonna switch our feet, make this really easy. So we're gonna have our right foot forward. Your left arm is still under, under still, grip? Yep, okay. so the grip pretty much never changes. Got it. You know, the same 90% rule, you always want this kind of position on it. So up here, so the butt's up in front of your face, and I'll, and I'll face you guys so you can see a little bit better. So butt's up in front of the face, midway down with the quarter staff with the other hand, and this is called rudder guard. Got it, like a Oh rudder. yeah, exactly. Okay. Like a, you're on a gondola. Yeah. yeah. So from rudder guard, we're going to leave our feet in place, turn around, and still facing forward, we're gonna wrap the staff all the way back here. And again, I'm going to twist and rotate around. And so this is full exposure, and then this backhand, you kinda of wanna snake around underneath to support the middle. Okay. Yeah, just like that. The, this is helpful how? <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. So this is, this is a farther range position, and so if I'm running away, I can run quickly cover, retreat if I need to. Got it. Not, not an ideal position to be with it, but realistically, I'm, I'm starting here, he's far away, I'm winding up to either throw and step back, or I can even throw and step forward. Okay. With that same, it's just getting, it's just getting even more mass momentum behind it. Okay. Because of, instead of, with that position, instead of just throwing with my arms, I'm actually pulling across. With your entire body. My hips. So yeah, I don't need this arm, I'm pulling that through. And that could be a hell of a hit. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what, man, my respect for the quarterstaff is, is uh, times 100. Like, just being near it and seeing it swinging around, I just think all of our foreheads are in trouble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's what we're doing a lot slower, a lot more controlled motions, obviously much larger space for this, just to yeah. add the space to work through and learn some of this stuff. As we're going to drill, I'm going to make you guys get some gloves on. Okay. To protect your hands. Just yeah. Incidental contact is not polite with this like they were with the other ones, so. Sure, sure. Feel free to I dig stabbed out. Brian in the eye and he was fine. Yeah. <laughs> He's got two though, he's fine. So first, first really simple, really basic drill. Now one of you can start in rudder, other one's gonna start in low guard, and all I'm gonna do from here is throw a strike rising up from there. Okay. So there's really- So you're stepping forward and, and, and going bring, up. bring this up, absolutely. Okay. So Meyer calls these most of his attacks are thrusts, which to me isn't about like lining up and stabbing him. Mm -hmm. It's more to do with the fact that I'm using the very tip and I'm controlling that center position. So I'm thrusting in because I'm stopping here. I'm not swinging through, trying to hit lower on the staff and not controlling that center position. So he calls everything- and is that universal through all quarter staff combat is everything should be punctuated? There's some wild swinging, we'll get there later. Okay, okay. I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna throw this nice polite strike up here. He's gonna snap, control the center. So in this case, he's in the superior position here. Right, you're gonna start low over to your left side. Okay. So he's gonna throw the strike and all you're gonna do without even stepping for right now, mm -hmm. snap this up to cover that line. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna be stepping forward with my left yeah, foot. You're step forward and throw that rising strike. And then yeah. come up like that. Yep. Okay. okay. So if I'm here, I come in, wow. And then with your action, mm -hmm. I don't want to say put it in front of his face, but put it in front of his face. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, and yeah. so you could come in and threaten my and face. And now, now he takes that step, which he hasn't taken yet, 
and it's just right and it, there. Uh, yeah. yeah. It, was it because I was faster and met him before he finished his arc? Yeah. Or? It's, okay. it's getting that center line, getting that control precision mm -hmm. faster. Um, it does start tying into, if you remember, the strong and weak of the sword of how the tip is really weak. So if we just cross. Oh, yeah. If I'm here, I have way more leverage than he does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Versus if I'm here, now he's going to push me over. That's why you were so, saying put it so in his face. So by nature of that motion, if he strikes at me that same way, as I strike here, I'm going to control that center first. Now I'm going to get there first. Yeah. But I've got a dominant position from the bind. But so. just work on that first, just getting that snap reaction from that attack. Yeah. So much force. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, Ooh. sweet. You throw the attack. Okay. So. And you'll start in low guard. And I'm going to mid, right? Yeah. And you can take a step with yours. Oh, right. So, okay. nice and slow the first couple. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. See, I, what's funny is when I was on the receiving end, I thought, I was like, why is he going so far over? But now I feel that it's like you just want to yeah. swing well, way one over. One of the things that I was doing, and you're, you're doing more rudder like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. I was had that, it more was, low. Yeah. Okay. You want, you want so that it up allowed here. me to get So this, this motion you. for you is the really quick snap. Whew. Got yeah. It. Yeah. All right. So slow uh, step. Right, and then I would step yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. You've already got that line. So you've got that precious half second. There. So there, you've lost that exchange. Cause, oh, that's great. Yeah, because he's can, you over. You can feel it. Got it. Yeah. Got feel it. How, feel yeah. how much more snap you get out of that little quick. Wow, it really makes a difference. Like, like the whole thing, if, I, if I'm here versus here, is the difference between winning and losing. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That was good. That was fast. Woo. Okay. Maybe not so hard. I'm going to slow it down. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Sorry. You hear the nice whooshing sound, though? So work on just snapping to that control point and lining up that thrust instead of over pushing him down. Okay. Yeah. How are you guys feeling? Pretty good. good. Pretty good. Good. All right. We're going to break this into a couple different steps. So we're both going to start in high guard. No more than three, please. <laughs> yeah. So both start in high guard. So again, left foot's me forward, up here. He's going to swing that kind of same thrusting action like we just did when we talked about the demo, that thrust here, just like that, right at me. So what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to step away, because that's always safe, and just come down on top of your stick. So notice I'm back in low guard. Right. right? Nothing's changed. I'm in low guard. I'm slightly off center. OK, so uh, uh, show, show uh, us one again. more time. Yeah. 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 So starting from high guard. He's just taking that same basic step right at me. I'm stepping away, cutting down onto his staff. I step out, and then I turn to face and pull this back leg back to my neutral position. Try that a few times back and forth, then we'll start adding layers. Okay, so uh, left foot forward, uh, high guard, and... Uh, yep, yep, and now I'm going to start picking your stance again. Widen your stance, square up more. Wi widen it? or Widen left, right. Oh, widen yeah. left, right, got it. And a little bit narrower front to back. Get comfortable okay. with that. What so he'll cut first, you do the reaction that I was doing. Okay. I'm in. Right. Left leg's going to step sideways towards me. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to cut down into low guard, where we just were. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I've checkmated. That's what, that's what we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Although it's not entirely clear to me what I'm trying to gain by coming in. And this is probably a factor of us keeping you guys like an extra foot apart. OK. And keeping everything safer. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I learned. I learned from last time. All right, so mm. switch it up. So you're gonna throw that first attack. Okay. And you're gonna take that sideways step and cut down onto his stick. Uh, so, and my sideways step is gonna be this going out this yes. way? Okay. Yep. And then instead of drawing that in, let it circle around to square up against him. Yeah. Got it. So not that deep, but okay. that's the right direction. Yeah. So just from here yep. to mid. With a step. With a step, okay. And then. Uh, so yeah, perfect. Just hold that out, let him see it, react to it. Okay. So you need to move that your left foot over. Over to the left? Yeah. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Like that? Yes. All right. How are we feeling with that? Good. Getting Much there? better. Much All right. better. So I'm going to attack you. I'm starting the attack. So you can start in high guard, just high like guard. you were. So this is part two of the same thing we just did. So oh, I throw okay. my cut. I'm here. Mm -hmm. You step out, cut down on top of it, knock it down. So. Right. So from here, no surprise, I'm going to come up. Yeah. And make that motion. So again, I throw that attack. 
You come down, I change underneath, strike to the face. So it's just, okay. Because you just knocked it over, I let the staff ride back. It's really just retract and then the first attack. Yeah. The mid attack. Yep. This is making me think of a uh, killick. If you can like flip up the staff and come down, that is bonus points. Well, <laughs> I didn't want to intimidate you guys, but I played a lot of Soul Calibur. <laughs> He's up. Ha! Yeah, you're gonna attack first, you do exactly what I just did. Okay. So from there, pull it back. And then uh, what about my leg work here? I guess like that? Yeah, if, if you need it, yeah. You should be close at this point, you can just pull it back. Okay, got it, put so it back I, don't, I don't need to make my whole body involved if, if I could just do that. Yeah, got absolutely. It. All right. Expending unnecessary energy is something you want to avoid. Yeah. Right? There. All right, so two I like more. how polite he does it. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It's like, clack. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's how we learn it, though. Yeah. We got yeah. to do it that no, slowly. I genuinely appreciate how you do it, <laughs> that it's not some teeth bearing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Boop. You want to swap sides? Yeah. Start slow. No rush. So pull back. And then stab in the face. Oh, in the face. Yeah. You don't have to do the face. <laughs> timing on that step is looking really good. Good. How you're getting that timing off, you're coming right down as he's coming through. Great. Because imagine he was a step closer and it was coming at your face instead of politely. And that's that timing you need like quickly out of the way, come down on top of it to make sure he doesn't do anything else. Yeah. All right. So third part, I'm gonna call Brian back up for this one. So again, step out, crash down, he comes up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this this way. And remember that move I said, throw your arm under your armpit, uh -huh. hand under your armpit? So notice, hand is safe, protected, his staff's way out there. So again, fully from the top, he cuts at me, I chop down, he changes underneath to come at me. They call it the false edge of the backage of the staff the same way, so you're bringing, your fingers are away from you. Coming back with this side, Right. From here, I make this circle. And if you want, you can step right there. Yeah. And then, uh, I guess. Uh, <laughs> like a lot that. of on the wrong side somehow. So. Oh. Uh, hold on. I've forgotten everything. He's going to hold it out. You're going to step aside and cut down on top yeah, of it. Yeah, got it. So there I'm we here. go. He's yeah. going to pull out and try to stab you in the face. Yep. And then I am. going to pull up that way. And, and then, then spin it. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Oof. OK. Well, so you come in. Mm-hmm. And Step I, aside with that, yeah. Knock the, it just seems like I'm knocking it towards my face. I'm, I'm coming up. It's, it's because you're not moving that front foot. Okay. You're keeping, so you're spinning again uh -huh. instead of stepping. So you come in. Yeah. Like that. So now. And then, well, yeah, although I, I, I should be knocking you away when I do that. Oh, sure. Right. Artifacts of drilling slowly and safely is when, when I, so if, I'll do it to him. I step off here, I control this. So as I come out, notice it bounces yep. and clears away a lot better. Got it. Whereas you were being very, oh, we were slow. very slow and polite. So you're going like, here it comes and now I gotta get underneath it because it doesn't yeah. move Got it around. It. So it. somehow getting that safe snap to happen. So as he oh, thrusts, yeah. so I'm here. Like I'm just gonna go, I'm clearing it. it. So I can make this motion. Got it. And so you're not swinging all the way around. You're taking yeah. the, 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 the short road from, from here to, yeah. to there. But it's getting that snap with power to displace him in a safe setting. Got it. Uh, yeah. Man. It, that was it. Oh, I did it. That hey, was it. I, yeah. I, I did it instinctually. Oh man, that got close to your face. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I was so excited. I was like, yes, yes, you got it. <laughs> You're killing me. You're doing great. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, That's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bring it around though. Uh, bring it, bring it around. Because so, you want to wind up in this position here. You I wanna do. You want to wind up with this crossed arm, you know, that okay. right hand under your left armpit. Got it. But that'll bring it around here and that'll close that line off where his quarter staff is. Okay. In. So. Step and down. There you go. And so, so down now, up. Oh, that yep. was great. Yes. Except you went the wrong way. I did. Direction. And just, just think uh, hand to armpit. Emotion, hand to armpit, yep. Motion will happen three quarters by itself at least. Okay, so I'm coming in. Repositioning. Yeah. And now you yeah. take it in. Hand to armpit is like the easiest, like, no, hand to armpit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, I can oh, remember this. <laughs> that. Okay, and that. Bam. Hand to armpit. 
There you go. Yeah. We were getting caught up in the beginning thinking it was more of a sweeping thing. Right, right. Where it's really it's just this. You're just crack. pivoting to the other side. And then here, yeah. Right. As you pull this around, yeah. take that step. I'm gonna do it very slowly yeah, when I do you. that. It does, it does add a lot more velocity and I can't like, like yeah. from his side I could have stopped it. That like, side I gotta. I, this is probably my favorite one of these that we've done so far. I keep having to remind myself, don't Real be weapon. so excited. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to maim Brian. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. So remember that terrible side guard that you asked, why did we do this for? Yep. This is why. So again, starting in rudder. Yep, rudder. Okay. Turning our feet, and I want the middle of the staff on that back hip there. So I'm here. So what I'm gonna do is like I talked about, I'm just gonna like throw this at his face. What? He's gonna stop it, maybe. And then it's probably gonna brace through is what the play calls it. Then I'm gonna catch it and just bring it back through a second time. Wow! So you're using your entire body like a coil. Yep. You're unleashing all that momentum, and when he knocks it away, you're just coming around for a second yeah. uh, knock. So the, the way they talk about the play is, you know, either take him across the face or he gets out of the way. So it, it, it presumes you have yeah. to catch it again here, pull it through again quickly. Wow. Um, if he does happen to catch it and knock it away, you know, he put a lot of force into it. I can step up here. Once it, we were just here, right? Right, 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 right. That's so now we're one. back to what we just learned. So, you know, I'll probably stand in and give you a staff to hit and cut through. So okay. you get the feeling for it. Okay. Not, not, not a partner drill. Right, show, not a, show, show me one more time. One more time. So we're getting that really deep coiled side guard. We're coming out, throwing the stick. Comes through. <laughs> Comes through there. <laughs> okay, all right. Ready? Yeah. That's a fun one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. So we're here, we're in rudder, and we turn all the way back. So we're going to go there. Oh, wow, okay. Super, so, uh, super so, awkward. So I should, I, it's basically I'm pulling and it's just rolling over yeah. my body. So you're pulling across your body and you can use that back hand to throw it as it comes out. Okay, and so, and so I'm, I'm here to... Yeah, and, you're, and you can even take a step if you want to really okay. just drive that home. Wow, that's an extraordinary move. All right, so I'm here. It, and comes, then... it comes around, you gotta pick it up <laughs> and then back like through. Oh, just to... <laughs> Just a just, double swing. Just to yeah. make sure. Because you yeah. got to pick it up somewhere. And like, if, if I'm here and I just like void it and let it pass through. <laughs> yeah. Like that? <laughs> but you need to get that hand back up okay. to, that, to that normal guard position. So we're here. And then. Yeah. And I'm coming down or I'm continuing on through? Whatever's there. Okay. I find a snap it slightly down back in that guard position. Swinging around. Yeah. Wow. It's like it does it on its own. Like you feel the force. Like it's just moving on its own. It looked beautiful. <laughs> Give it a try. Give it a try. Left foot back. Yeah. So we're okay. starting in rudder. Uh, right. Okay. Right, and then we're turning away. So it's around like and, that. And yep. You're, you're going to let go. Yep. And use that back hand to just throw it. Oh, wow. Okay. Because that way it's free to catch it when it comes back around. Okay. To make that. I think the most difficult part is just getting the getting that position. starting yeah, position so, down. Like I'm really wide, and they even show this hand like coming out the back. You can see, like rotated like that. Yeah, and then extend your uh, right hand straight out because you want oh, that. Oh yeah. You want that midpoint so there, so you get that full lever. Then you throw it, comes through. Yeah. And then you, you want your uh, underhand and, and yeah. to go back forward. Oh, yeah, because I was... Let go and catch it ideally here, mm -hmm. which is going to be terrible with those gloves. So you can come through and catch it with a control strike after that. Okay. Yeah. That was yeah! A... Dude, that looked Throw good! Throw it. Let go. Let go. Throw it. Okay, are you sure? <laughs> Let go with your left hand, not with both. <laughs> <laughs> Up here. Yep. And then... <laughs> yeah. You could feel it pulling you all over yeah, the place, it was, right? I was quickly out of control. <laughs> yeah, so instead of throwing this way and letting it pull you, mm -hmm. like, feed the stick. Oh, so gotcha. there. Okay. So you always have that forward momentum instead of letting it be pulled through. Yeah. Wow. That felt like I was going to kill somebody. I'll tell you what, man, I can't believe it. Like, with the extended reach that this has, if I was teleported back to medieval times, uh, this feels like you have so much more safety and so much slaying power. I would rather have this than a sword. I mean, I this would, is amazing. I would be a yeah. wizard. I would just cast spells from a distance. <laughs> yeah. So before we let you guys 
kill each other. We're gonna demonstrate a little bit of slow work with the wooden staffs. You know, look for the guards we talked about, watch our footwork, watch our body control. Okay. You know, notice we're controlling the staff the entire time, not, you know, throwing wild cuts and flailing and falling all over the place. So, unlike us, which is... Yeah. I mean, hypothetically, hypothetically. I'm not saying you guys did any of those things. How many of these have we done now? I mean, come on, you don't yeah. have to sugarcoat it, we know. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Run away. Yeah. Suddenly the rules, it there are no the windows. Yeah. Oh yeah, there are no rules. It's a stick fight. Looks how easy it is to get those hand hits in without any protection there. So yeah. things to watch for. <laughs> All right. Nice. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet the quarter staffs are not normally this floppy. If it's too hard for four hours, see a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Ah. Whoa. That was Ooh, my face. Very floppy. It's <laughs> <laughs> a fishing pole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, reset, reset. Back up. That, uh, Back up. All right. Did you see that hand to armpit move? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty Perfect. good. Go ahead. <laughs> That's so floppy. <laughs> this is the only safe way. That was nice. Oh, you definitely right there. You got Are you okay? <laughs> That's a solid point. All right, it's two now. Good job. All right. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, I'm brush with you, son of a bitch. Oh my god, are you okay? You, 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 you got me. <laughs> you are got you me. done? <laughs> World's shortest match? <laughs> if, you, if you bounce and look up, it's supposed to help. If you bounce and look up. Bounce and look up. <laughs> okay. It's like, I, I'm wearing so much armor. <laughs> and you, but yet, the most sensitive part, nothing. Oh, all right, we call it in. I think so. <laughs> well done. Oh, man. <laughs> Cause, it's because you grabbed the middle and held like right here. You just give him a bridge. Like, <laughs> like here, just, just put it here. I thought I was going to be cute and funny <laughs> and do the thing. <laughs> Uh, gentlemen, thank you. Tell us more about where we can find you online. All right, so we are Hist Austin Historical Weapons Guild. Find us on Facebook under the same thing. We are Historical Weapons Guild on Instagram, historicalweaponsguild.com. Um, we're all over the place. Just look for the crazy guys in purple. Yeah. And we've had members of the Modern Rogue community come in and sign up for classes, so yeah, everyone else yeah. should too if you're in the Austin Definitely. area. If you're in the, or, or if you want to visit, we run workshops. Uh, we've got some two hour seminars coming up with the uh, parkour place you guys oh, were right just on. at. So we do a lot of stuff. We're growing as an organization. We have a lot more outreach going on as well. So, Dude, fantastic. Uh, man, uh, quarter staff respect is at an all time high with me. It's my new favorite. <laughs> I mean, not when you have it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the pool cue of doom. Oh. <laughs> Just remember guys, it's not how hard it is, it's how you use it. Are you enjoying the content over at themodernrogue.com? Oh, there are so many great articles, I literally can't keep up with them. So a friend of mine uses in nothing but an RSS feeder, and it's so fun because he goes through, he's like, oh, that looks interesting, and it, now it's a game, he's like, Got me again, Brushwood! <laughs> Dude, John Cheese is killing it. You can tell all the talent that he brought to Crack.com is coming out in the modern road. Yeah, and they're building it with Squarespace. It's handling all of that. I cannot believe we launched, relaunched the site a mere, what, five months ago. Yeah. We are about to cross over one million page views. That is an amount that I can almost not even imagine. Yeah, well, I can because I'm constantly using the app to check the analytics. And you're able to see it all real time. It's fantastic. 
fantastic, dude. I tweet out an article and then immediately open it up and watch real time as all the traffic funnels in. And I'm like, I did that. All of you, I, I brought them to this party. And it's really easy to use because we didn't have to hire like a web developer no, to no. craft this for us. And as a matter of fact, we've heard about comparable websites with comparable traffic that they spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to build something that doesn't look as good as what we have. Yes. Just as important, their support is amazing. We've had a couple of moments where it's like, I don't know what's happening. Get on the phone, get a human being who takes care of you. It's all happened in five months. Dude, and you can start your free trial at squarespace.com slash rogue. That's R-O-G-U-E. You get 10% off when you do purchase. It's amazing. I mean, we're in the content biz now, man. Yeah. Squarespace is like your Jarvis. You're just like, build me a website. Oh, I need a digital butler that can talk to me when I'm fighting enemies in my armor. Squarespace.com slash rogue. Sign up for your free trial. Once you guys try it, you're going to love it just like we do, man. Thank you so much, Squarespace. You guys have made the impossible possible. Squarespace Assemble. That's, that's their new. <laughs> I don't think we can do that. Why don't you be Squarespace in it? <laughs>